Hello everybody, Abby Lee Miller here at the ALDC LA with famous birthdays and look who. Lily Kay. We're gonna do a little Q&A. Let me see if I can get the real dirt. Let's see if tea. Lily spills spill the, the tea. tea. You gonna spill the tea? Sure. We did have tea in London. Yeah. Remember? We tried tea. We went to Harrods for tea. If you could find one thing out about your future, what would you choose to know? Good question. Hmm. I would probably want to know what my job is. I so think I, you already have a job, kiddo. <laughs> no, I know, but I would want to know, like, what am I doing in the future? Am your I going to be your career? Yeah. Your occupation. What's my your career? Your vocation in life. Will I be on a scripted TV show? Oh. Will I be singing? Oh. What will I be doing? <laughs> That's okay. what I would choose. All right, that was good. Yeah. Right? Okay. Good answer. How has Miss Abby's teaching style helped you develop into a confident dancer? Well, I'd say that you're pretty strict. So you want what you want, and you get what you want. There you go. Yeah. That's right. Yes. I feel like you just really pushed me beyond my limits and proved to me that I can do more than I thought I was able to do. Good. Good girl. All right. So I gave you confidence. Yes. If Dance Moms had an unlimited music library, ooh, what song would you love to use for a solo? And what song would you love to use for group? Okay, for a solo, I would probably choose one of Billie Eilish's songs. Okay, you love her. I love Billie Eilish. Okay. I probably... She's from here. She is? Yeah, she's from LA. Like, she's born and raised. She's a kid. Yes. Okay, uh, I'd probably choose When the Party's Over for a solo. Okay. And then for a group dance, what would we do for parties over? Like you'd have a party hat. And no, it's a sad song. Side. It doesn't. It doesn't even. Like, it like, doesn't. It doesn't even say when the party's over in the song. I don't know why it's called that. Okay. It's a sad song. It's a sad song. It's so a contemporary a song. It would be like a contemporary lyrical. Okay. Yeah. And for a group dance, I feel like we did really well with musical theaters and jazz dances for, for some reason. Oh, what's like a musical theater kind of song? You're asking me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> she knows all of them. Yes. Well, cabaret, uh, anything from Chicago, oh, that uh, anything from Sweet Charity. Yes. You know, those are the candor and have yeah. great, great classics. Yeah, I'd probably choose like a musical theater song for a group dance, like all that jazz. Okay. <laughs> that works. All right. <laughs> were you doing roll my stockings down? Was that the line you were just doing? Do you think you faced more pressure this season because you were Abby's first returning dancer? <laughs> I mean, I feel like I did have a little bit more pressure because you already knew me, you already knew what I could do, and you already knew that I won last season, so there was more pressure that it was like, oh, we already know you can win, so you should win. Absolutely, that's the way it goes. Yeah, so Some it was definitely kid more that pressure. Never wins, it, you know, they place and you're so excited. <laughs> but if you place, it's like going backwards. You wanna win, you gotta win, you gotta win. Right? Yeah, so it's more pressure. Yes. Wait till the game's later. It's anybody's chance. All right. Is it difficult for you? <laughs> what? Is it difficult for you to balance school with dance? No. Balance. Um, Got it. Like in All right, got it. Pause, like balance, balance, yes. No, it's not difficult because we're homeschooled and on the TV show we have two hours of school in the morning and then an hour later that day. So we have to, if we don't do enough school, we can't be on camera. So you don't have to worry about any type of school issues because we have to do it. If, I mean, if you don't see us on the show, it's probably because we didn't do enough school. There. So, yeah. <laughs> Stab. Okay, and... And also, what? you're right there. It's convenient. Yeah, we also have tutors. And it's we on tutors. set. So the logistics of walking to the school bus stop, getting on a bus, driving to school, going to your locker, all that wasted time doesn't happen because you can walk from your car right there, like 10 feet <laughs> in, and Open you're your computer at school. and you're at school. And then you go 30 feet and you're in the dance studio. Yes. So I, I think it's much more convenient. But in I the LA studio. But in the LA studio, we had to drive pretty far away from the studio to get to school, which was horrible with the traffic because it took. 
far away. Maybe. It was just really far away from where we lived. From where you lived. Yeah, yeah. it took yeah, us like an hour and a half to get there well, because of traffic. You all wanted to live by the road, that's why. We didn't choose. Mm -hmm. We didn't choose to stay in a hotel. Well, you know those other people did. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what do you miss most about North Carolina when you were filming or working in LA? My family and my pets. <laughs> your pets. Let's talk about your pets. Okay. What pets do you have? I have two dogs. One's a girl, her name's Charlotte, and then one's my dog, his name is Toby. We have two tortoises and a bird. I think I was with you when you got Toby. Yeah. In Las Vegas? No. Somewhere. We got it, we got it in LA, but we brought it to Las Vegas and we had to hide them in our hotel room. Yes, that was with me, right? Yeah. And that's where I lost my big star ring in that hotel. And I know somebody took it because I loved it. I wore it every day. <laughs> okay, that was a nice hotel though. Yeah, All it was right. really nice. Huh? What have been some fun moments of filming Dance Moms that didn't make it to air? Well, psh, there's tons of fun moments that didn't make it. <laughs> Yeah, like, we go to Kennywood. We went to Kennywood one time. It was super fun. It's an amusement park in Pittsburgh. And it has the oldest wooden roller coaster in the United States. There's a lot of history there. <laughs> and I, I, I remember you guys on that water big, it wasn't yeah, like a log jammer. It, it was like a big Big boat. one. And they splashed us with it. And they ran and went on it again. And, and again, again, and again, and again. It and was again. insane. And uh, the mem uh, it was insane. And a member of their team, Brady, is obsessed <laughs> with roller coasters. With roller coasters. <gasps> I don't like personally. I hate roller coasters. I'll scoop for him later and tell him he's gonna flip out. What? <laughs> what other fun things happen? We always go to eat. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we go to out to dinner sometimes. We shop. Oh wait, yeah, we in shop the mall till we drop. Costumes <laughs> at nine o'clock when the store is closing, and we're like running around like lunatics trying to buy stuff. Yep, for Brady. <laughs> For Brady. Brady's over there pointing at himself like Brady, Brady <laughs> costumes, yes. Yeah, Brady. So I like him to be in like men's or like regular clothes, not secrets. Sometimes we'll start our dances and we won't even have costumes until the day of competition. I know. You know, Maybe. tough costume budget. What are you gonna do? <laughs> all right. Now, out of all the cities you have traveled to for competition, which one was your favorite and why? Does it have to be just competition? Just competition. What's I mean, I would say city? LA. I would just say I love going to LA. You do? Yeah. London is it in there anyway? The the UK would be probably second. Okay, LA and then London. Yeah. So I would probably choose. Well, you'll be welcome back there with open arms. I choose LA because of all the opportunities that are here. I mean, I live in North Carolina. There's not many opportunities in North Carolina. So when I come up to LA, the only thing that is really bad about LA is the traffic. Yeah. Horrible traffic, but everything else about LA is Sometimes great. it's easier for me to get out of the car and wheel there. I can yeah. wheel there faster. Then drive. Yeah, I, you know, I was just back in New York City and you're in New York City a lot. Yeah. And even if you have to go from here to there. there, it's not that far. It's like a subway ride or a, I can't get down on the subway anymore, but it's a, you know, a taxi and it's like right there. Every fourth taxi is handicap accessible. I can wheel my wheelchair right up in it. Mm -hmm. And out here, it's ooh, way behind, <laughs> way behind. Which way does that go? Do you like being the youngest member of Abby's elite competition team? The baby. I don't really think it makes a difference. I feel like she sees us as all just... As dancers? Yeah, just as dancers. Ageless. Ageless dancers. She doesn't, like, even though I'm 11, she doesn't teach me dances that an 11 year old no, would be doing. Absolutely not. She still challenges us, but no matter I, our age. I also think that in dance competitions and dance teachers take age very seriously and the accountability of what's happening because of the way the competitions are structured. Or like you can't go on point because you're Right, 10, but also like there's 12. that deadline date and if you have a birthday, I want my competitors to always be on the oldest side of the age scale. So if the ages are nine to 11, I'm not gonna put the nine year old in. I'm gonna put the 11 year old in. If it's 12 to 14, I'm gonna use a 14 year old. Now other competitions are 12 and under and 13 and over. So the 13 year old is going up against 17, 18, 19 year olds. So it, it, it's confusing, but age matters. Never lied about a kid's age in my life. And I know a lot of dance teachers that do, just saying. <laughs> How did you celebrate your 11th birthday? What did Not I do my 11th birthday? Oh, 
we went on our boat okay. to the lake. Yeah, we All went right. on our boat to the lake. It was really fun. That's what I wanted to do. My dad actually made the boat. Well, he didn't like, well, he bought a boat that was like broken down, wasn't good, and then he like fixed everything. Now it's really nice. Okay. I thought it like came in a kit. No. And you put it together. No. Like the Definitely. Robot. No. He just bought like a broken down boat Cheap and then boat. yeah. And then he and then he just fixed it. And he did his stuff, right. Yeah, so now we have a boat. And how are those kitchen cabinets? Oh, we're actually redoing our kitchen cabinets. We have finished our kitchen cabinets, now we're doing our theater cabinets. So you posted about it and I saw you painting. Yes. So you took beautiful hardwood, real wood cabinets mm -hmm. that were gorgeous and painted them white. Yep. And then put stain on them. <laughs> oh, really? So they're not white white anymore? No, because white white looks really weird. <laughs> they're like off-white. So, yeah, they're off-white with like, you know how the cabinets have like creases in it? Yeah, with like grooves? Yes. Yeah, brown in it. Okay. So it's like... So do you like it better? Cute. Yes, a lot better. It's it a lot brighter. the kitchen, yes. Okay. It's a lot brighter. <laughs> All right, well, famous birthdays. You just got more than a Q&A. You got a little do-it-yourself boat repair and, and uh, home cabinet decor, repair. yes? Yeah. You're watching Abby Lee Miller and Lily Kay here with Famous Birthdays. Now, make sure you're watching and also follow my YouTube channel, Abby Lee Miller, and all of my Instagram accounts, <laughs> mainly at The Real Abby Lee. Take it away. And follow my Instagram at Lily Kay Official and subscribe to my YouTube channel at Liliana Ketchman. Bye.